one, Tarnation! Uh, I meant to do that. Howdy folks, this is Apple Geek, and here we are at the end. Well, not the end, an ending. Just one. There's there's more to come. You know, the, we, we've already found out there's going to be a season 10 that will live on in the IDW comics. And there will be more fanfics and more conventions and more everything. The fandom will live on. I have no doubt about that. But everything has its time. And as far as the animated series go, the time has come for it to end. I, I'm in pretty positive. You know, it's a little bittersweet, but I'm in pretty good spirits about it because you know there's there's always new beginnings new things to look forward to in in the future so as as a lot of you know i've had a lot going on on my plate recently because the job that i had for over 10 years just kind of fell apart the company kind of fell apart and here i am just starting a brand new job just a week ago and that's been uh bit hectic for me to try and readjust some things in my life around that. So, um, yeah, you know, I understand everything has its time and you got to keep moving forward. So, but it's, it's been an interesting four years. It's been four years this month since I started doing these reactions and man, it is, it has been a long, interesting journey. I'm not going to get too deep into all the, the mushy stuff right now. I'm sure I'll be speaking more about that later. Right now, I just want to get to these episodes and actually see what the final outcome of the show is here, because I have no idea. I am spoiler-free on this finale. I know nothing about what is to come, other than things that I've theorized about that I don't know will actually happen. Uh, just to recap briefly on that, I've talked about a lot of different things. You know, big final conflicts... You know, involving all the allied creature nations, perhaps. Uh, you know, potentially some time travel adventure stuff again with Grogar and that, uh, uh, that bell and whatnot. And then there's, you know, been recent developments like this other power Grogar supposedly found and Chrysalis here at Cozy Globe sowing seeds of discontent amongst all the pony tribes. So I have no idea what all directions that this is going to go, but I expect it to be epic, whatever the case. And uh, I have something interesting for the special occasion here. You all know that uh, I've often uh, drank Red Bull in my reactions and gotten a little amped up that way. And I have the biggest can of Red Bull I could find, big 20 ounce can. And as you can see, it has been properly larcened. Wings, horn, and signature. This is an official M.A. Larson can of Red Bull. And I have been saving it just for this occasion. So, let the finale begin. All right, let's get this show on the road. Finale, part one, starting now. Kinderlap. Ah, hey that is Coronation Day? Right away, Princess Christmas. Sparkles coronation? Who hasn't? I'm on my way there now. So much baking to do, and no, no, about the Earth ponies. I know their props oh. have been underperforming, but uh... that's not mm -hmm. it. They're hoarding the food for themselves. I heard the mayor of Appaloosa say that if unicorns and Pegasi want to eat, they can use their own hooves to dig. Oh wow! Us, we unicorns have to stick together, right? Oh, I'm a cake. <laughs> hmm. Ah, Chris. <sighs> I always got that book. They figured out how to use the bell yet? Spreading distrust among the unicorns and earth ponies is almost too easy. We could take down Twilight and her friends a hundred times, but as long as they have the love hmm. of Equestria behind them, they'd crawl back to defeat us. Not anymore. No oh, friction, boy. No magic. It's so obvious when you think about it. I did my part freaking out the Pegasi. And Grogar's long absence Ooh. has given me time to prepare the next part of our plan. Oh, he's been okay working on the bell. Mm hmm. Grogar's bell. This artifact okay. can steal any creature's magic. It holds that magic until it is released by this spell. 
Oh. Which means all the power inside is ours for the taking. How much magic is that consumed over the eons? Let's try the spell before Brogar gets back. Yeah. I'm sick of waiting for that old goat's master plan. Take my hands. Okay. So we can all be part of the spell. Unless you'd prefer I take all the magic myself. Our pact stands. What we do, we do together. Once we defeat the protectors of Equestria, are they gonna get reformed? This land That's and rule I'm... our kingdoms alone once mm. more. I don't think it's gonna go that way, but oh boy. Oh. Um. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> I can't even talk! Allegory Cozy Glow! <laughs> oh my word! I did not see that coming! <laughs> Oh, this is going to be intense. My friend was right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I've got no idea where this is going now, but... <laughs> I have returned. Twilight Sparkle's coronation is today. And we are going to ruin it with this artifact. The ending of the end. But to succeed, you must work together. Oh, way ahead of you, Grogar. Oh, boy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, that is so wrong! That is so wrong! Well, you had it all this time! No, he really you tell me? Wow. We're villains, duh. Man, he really did not know. I thought he was smarter than that. Oh. What? <laughs> He's no threat. Besides, <laughs> I thought he was just masquerading. He was actually. Doesn't she look so adorably <laughs> regal up there? My mind is broken already. All grown up. Should we tell her that we've cleared out our royal suite so she and Spike can move in? <laughs> or maybe wait until after the coronation. Aww. Twilight doesn't need anything else to worry oh, they about. Oh, swap the thrones around. Okay. So, you freaking out yet? <laughs> about what? Oh, I don't know. Not every day the princesses that have ruled Equestria for hundreds of moons retire and pass all their responsibilities on to you and your friends. Oh, that. Actually, I'm feeling pretty good. We've all faced so much and come out okay. Also, I just realized Discord is now eliminated as an ally. There's nothing we can't handle together. Which reminds me... Hmm? What? Royal advisor? <gasps> What's that? Oh. The position I created for you. I've been at my side for every step of this journey. Knowing I had you to count on gave me the strength I needed to grow and succeed. I wouldn't be here without you. Thanks, Twilight. You know I'll always be a right hoof dragon. Oh. I was hoping you'd say that, because now that my crown's been fitted, we have some royal errands to run. Oh. And it's a ghost town. And you're sure this is where Pinky told us to get the blackberries for her special coronation dessert? Maybe they keep uh, their produce in the back? Nope, this is all we got. But I got a special on these taters. God. Um, no thank you. We'll keep looking. Who's that voice? <laughs> oh, Twilight Yeah, what's darling. going on here? Time. Only one more pre-coronation stop. We're picking up the final touch for your apre hors d'oeuvre gown. Is that before or after the royal marshmallow eating contest gown? What? <laughs> I haven't made one of those! <laughs> you must tell me when they add these sorts of things. <laughs> it's okay, Rarity. Marshmallow, I, I get it. Nice. Joking. Day of her coronation. <coughs> You've come a long Rarity. way, <laughs> There, there. Oh, Candlelight Boutique. And it's well, all locked odd. up. They look open. 
Wow. What do you want? Oh, well, this being a thread shop, I thought I might buy Oh, thread shop, not Herbertine. In the okay. mail slot. Uh. Wow. What is that about? You know, designers don't like being interrupted when they're on a creative roll. Who oh, thread this exquisite candy? Wake rainbow. up and smell the roses, you. Weather for the coronation is sunny skies. Hi, Dash. It was weird, though. Not many Pegasi wanted to help me clear the clouds. They were kind of on edge. It's just... They're not the only ones. It's the first shift in royal power in over a millennium. Of course, every pony is a little jumpy. Change does that. But I'm sure it's not because they're worried about you. How could they be? How many times have you saved their flanks by now? You're right. I'll just have to let every pony know that even with Celestia and Luna gone, we'll make sure things stay the same. Twilight! There you are! You mind telling your friend here that My mind is still spinning about Discord Grogar, so... <laughs> Especially if he ain't gonna help carry apples. I appreciate you taking such good care of my friends, but we're fine now. It was the strangest thing. He kept calling me Earth Pony, like I didn't have a name. Mm. And watching me like he thought I'd steal the silver. You! Do not go in that kitchen! You look like you're in a sugar war. <laughs> For some reason, the bakers are super grouchy with each other. Were you attacked by a party? <laughs> Tasty, tasty crossfire. <laughs> Are you sure this is just pre-coronation nerves? Nope. Oh, my aching metatarsals. Uh huh. How wow, I've never seen him look so frazzled. Is. Wait, did you just walk here on foot? Yes, actually, and I have a confession. Okay, yes, spill it. See, I might have made the teeniest boo boo. All very well intentioned and noble on my part, of course. Yeah. You remember that whole thing with King Sombra? That was slightly my fault, and by slightly, I mean I brought him back. You did? But why? Well, it seemed like that's a good not idea all. The time, which is why I also brought back three other villains who. But wait, are there's more. On the loose and not really big fans of yours. So, my bad. <gasps> and now they outsmarted you and stole all your magic and you can't help them anymore. You wanted to boost Twilight's confidence, so you brought back Chrysalis, Cozy Glow, and T-Rex to attack her? Don't forget Sombra. And while you united these three villains, you pretended to be Grogar? Discord, <laughs> how could you do this to Twilight? <gasps> Look what a great job you did defeating Sombra. Ouch. All the confidence you gained. Remember the cheering? The hoof bumps? Except it was all a lie. A <sighs> well intentioned lie. For all the time you spent with us, you really haven't picked up too much in the way of friendship lessons, huh? Mm. You've been setting up challenges for us the whole time, haven't you? None of our successes were actually real. Of course they well, were. Mm. You just had an extremely good-looking safety net. And how was that supposed to help again? I intended to prepare Twilight for anything by orchestrating an epic attack at her coronation. Yep. Beastly beast! Don't you know how much this day means to Twilight? And me? I made her dress! <laughs> you don't take a final exam on your first day of class. Just think, after defeating three baddies, Twilight would have to believe that she's the leader we all know she is. You have made a grave misjudgment, Discord. Do you have anything else you would like to tell us? Would you like the good news or the bad news? Oh boy. That wasn't the bad news. Oh My no. Chaos magic is gone. Mm -hmm. Trapped in Grogar's bell. Yep. So what's the good news? Chrysalis, T-Rex, and Cozy Glow now have all of the real Grogar's magic. Mm -hmm. In what world is that good news? Compared to me losing my powers, anything else is good news. Twilight. That's debatable. Need to make a plan. Maybe it's not too late to stop this disaster from happening. Yeah. I, um. I need some time to think first. Well, there isn't any time. Look what I overheard them saying. Okay. Well, oh, just listen to my voice and use your imagination. Let 
the fool go. Without magic, he's no threat. Besides, we have plans. The lame six are so busy being perfect, they haven't even noticed what we've been up to. Have I mentioned how great revenge is? <laughs> oh, I hope you got a name picked out for your future kingdom. Because it's time to destroy a quest creator. These voices! <laughs> These voices are amazing. They're probably on their way to attack Canterlot right now! Then we'll stop them! How? Stopping Sombra by himself was hard enough. And that was with Lord of Chaos training wheels. Twilight. It doesn't <laughs> well, that's one way to put it. Set up your successes or not. We believe in you. Yeah, it and always have. Leave you still pull through on your own. Counter your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Strength. Your friends. Right, Spike. Send a letter to Star Swirl. Tell him we need the pillars uh, to guard the borders of Canada. Yes. If the villains are pillars. coming for a fight, we'll have one waiting for them. With Chrysalis on the loose, she'll go after Starlight. Worn cadence and shining armor. They're our final line of defense if we fail. The ultimate battle for the fate of Equestria is coming. Okay. And we're not going anywhere until you two stop arguing. Chrysalis, say something nice about He's <laughs> red. T Red? Technically true. Not as annoying as I expected. Good. Now we were talking Baby about steps. Rogar's bell. We should take the magic inside it. You know how powerful Discord was. That <laughs> much chaos magic in our veins. But taking it all would be madness. It's impossible for any other creature to control. I guess if you need a guinea pig to find out if any pony can use chaos magic, I'll volunteer. <laughs> right. Oh no. Oh no! Now I have more power than all of Oh that is <laughs> That ain't right <laughs> Chaos magic is unpredictable Oh I expect many fan I arts. Think chaos magic is a good idea. Leave it in the bell. We've got a kingdom to conquer. So, where should we strike first? <laughs> Everywhere. So, yeah, with the, the pony tribes in disarray, they're going to have to call in the allied nations for assistance. That's where I'm going. Always succeeded. That wouldn't be possible without all of you. You're welcome. Dude, leave the room. So I ask yeah. you to help again today in what is our biggest battle yet. All of Equestria is at stake. And I can't do this alone, but I'm not afraid. Because with friendship as our armor and teamwork as our power, no pony can ever bring us down. Um, oh, come on. about that. Ooh. Where'd you get that? A daily affirmations calendar? Oh! Cozy Glow? You're about to wipe the floor with you! Oh no! <laughs> oh! <gasps> wow, it's true! Alicorns really do have more fun! Oh! Spread Man, this is moving fast! Friends. Canterlot depends on us! Yes! So. Oh. Uh huh. Oh, is he gonna steal all their magic right away? Probably. Uh oh. Oh! 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 Ow! Yep. Oh! Okay, one left. Oh! Oh! Run along. The big stuns are playing. Oh! Somnambula. Oh, Somnambula's left. Warn the princesses. They say you gotta have one to maybe get away. 
or not. Nope. The perfect dessert to a legendary meal. <sighs> yes. Oh, hey, Trixie. Stay with your buddy. No running. Starlight. Just follow Counselor Trixie. Starlight. Star bright. Oh, Where no. Should have known she was going for Starlight. I have to go. You got this? No pony does a great and powerful escape like Trixie. And... Sorry, Starlet, but you're going down. I want to see. You didn't make an appointment. <laughs> Do you have an appointment? What is this place? Somewhere you can't hurt any pony. Wrong. I can hurt you. <laughs> Stay still so I can blast you. Oh yeah, real motivating. <laughs> Ooh. You'll Ooh. pay for that. Put it on my tab. That's not going to hold her for long. Nope. Oh. I have all eternity to take my revenge on you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh. <laughs> Stand down, cozy glow. Gee, I guess I could, but I'm having too much fun. Ready, sister? Wait, what are you? What? What? Oh no! No, no, no! Oh, she had the bell! No! That's the problem with you magic types. You're so reliant on all your special power, you forget to use your brains! Keep telling yourself that now! Okay. <laughs> and. She's got an actual party <laughs> or a party bazooka! Hi, my pretties! <laughs> Hi, my pretties! <laughs> Even Spike's getting into this! Ooh. Ooh. Um, she still has magic, you know. Don't fall for- Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Discord. You think your pathetic shield can stop us? <laughs> the pillars have been defeated. Your school is abandoned. Face it, Twilight. You've lost. You can attack us, and we may fall. But Equestria will still stand, united in friendship. And we won't stop yeah, until we about you, that. no matter how many ponies you take down. <laughs> They've already thought of that, Twilight. Didn't you all notice something was wrong in Equestria? We've been busy. A whisper here, a rumor there. Destroy some crops, cause some damage. Turn pony against pony. Until your whole kingdom is on edge, waiting for just one tiny thing to push them over the brink. There's no backup friends or rainbow magic to save you now. Well, I think it's time for some redecorating. Oh. <laughs> you know <gasps> because when you have to protect yourself, you don't have time for anything no. else. No. No. Too bad you never taught that in school. I expected her to mass teleport out, but what the? Huh? Who? Rarity! Okay. <laughs> Teleport! Where's she? Go, Twilight! Get help! We'll hold them till you get back! No! I can't leave you here! It's our only chance! You'll come up with something to save the day! We'll always do! We believe in you! Why, you fool!
<laughs> okay. Intense is an understatement. <laughs> I expected something like this to happen. I didn't know it exactly exactly how it would play out, but still, to actually see it happen, to see them robbed of like every ally, and even basically to see Twilight out on her own like this now, I I don't know if I thought it would go quite that far. And th this is only the end of the first part, like. Well, there's basically no help left in Equestria itself by the looks of it. So, like I said, Allied Nations are going to have to come into play here somehow with the students. Uh, I cannot wait to see where this goes. Let me grab the next episode. Get this up. All right. Part two starting now. Not every day the princesses pass all their responsibilities on to you and your friends. You wanted to boost Twilight's confidence, so you brought that Chrysalis, Cozy Glow, and T-Rex to attack her? Discord? Was Grogar? You've been setting up challenges for us the whole time, haven't you? My bad. The ultimate battle for the fate of Equestria is coming. We'll hold them till you get oh. back. Why are you so... You know, I think I actually called that too. I wondered if Candlelight Castle is going to get destroyed in this battle. It wasn't even really a battle yet. This is a pretty one-sided fight. <laughs> oh, three villains teaming up, all of which have prior experience. They know all their weaknesses, all their backup plans. And Discord... Oh, I should have talked about that a little bit. I did not think that Discord would go this far. Far in his shenanigans. Now I really am wondering if he was, like, just playing dumb back in season four too. If that was a plan of his as well, I'm really thinking that. And now, complete destruction. Won't that be fun? Oh, man, these faces. Instant cozy. Destruction is so permanent. We need to show the rest of Equestria that we've broken their heroes first. Besides, we should have fun with our guests. Oh, the pillars. No! We should hunt down Twilight Sparkle. As long as she's out there, she's dangerous. Is that True. good strong minotaur that scared of one little pony? Relax. Mm -hmm. It's not like her friends are going You need to stop underestimating her. The fools brought the remains of my throne to Canterlot to protect themselves. <laughs> Those shards block their magic. Careful, too close. Ah. The shards cancel even our powers. But on this side of the channel, I was gonna say, how, how does Starlight trapped in there? But beings in Equestria, thanks to Grogar's bell. Isn't that right, Grogar? Oh. Wow. What are you doing? <laughs> You saw what happened when you tried to take this court's chaos magic. Yeah, yeah. But there's Alicorn Princess magic in there now too. Oh boy. I could be so much more powerful if I just could. What have do you it. mean you? Uh huh. Um, hello. I'm the best one out of all of us. Nobody sees me. What are you talking about? <laughs> the best at what? This is real. Bad. Yeah, those three have a very I fragile She's probably already arrangement here. Truce, whatever. Monsters. Any idea how we get out of here to do that? Use your noggins. Too sticky. There's no way any pony could get through this. I'm so sorry. It made so much sense There's still in my head. Twilight to feed Cadence out there. We didn't see her captured yet. Filled with confidence. But I truly did have the best intentions. I swear I'll make it up to you. That's gonna need to be a pretty <laughs> oh, what a shot! No! Stay away from the bell, you Oh! He made Fluttershy cry. That is not okay. Until we figure out how to handle that fool's ridiculous chaos magic. I could always tell you how. <laughs> Give you power over all reality, but you'd have to ask nicely and spare my friends. No, Discord. Mm. This isn't the way to help. He's got a plan. Could you please? <laughs> <laughs> 
Speak! He's lying. He won't tell us. I certainly won't tell you after the way you lied to me last time we teamed up. Oh, you muscle-bound cretin. This okay. cretin could destroy you before you blink. So choose your words carefully. You're right. Cretin is too polite. How about pathetic centaur who uses magic to compensate for the fact that deep down he's afraid he'll never be enough to please dear old dad, <gasps> King Vora? Oh! Whoopsie! <laughs> King Vora. Hmm. Did he though? Yeah, really. <laughs> oh, that smug grin on her face. Starlight. Mm. What? What? Okay. Fine, Twilight. We may not have our magic, but we aren't completely helpless. We'll hold them off as long as we say can. what? That was a pretty epic makeup. Just yeah. Keep Andrea, and keep Fluttershy safe. <sighs> Wow. <laughs> Why are you out in the open? Hide! What? Okay. Well, what's going on now? Been gathering in Celestia School of Magic ever since the attack. That's oh no! When I saw you. What about the Earth Ponies and Pegasi? It's every pony for themselves. That ain't right. Well, no, it's you not. You can all stand out here and debate. I'm going where I'm safe. <sighs> Chrysalis was telling the truth. Oh boy. They really have turned ponies against each other. Every pony's scared, that's all. We just need to get to Ponyville and find Twilight pronto. She'll know how to set things right. Please, stay calm! I know it seems... With that King Vork thing, I think we're gonna get some backstories on all of them here. It's done. <laughs> because Ponyville's own heroes of Equestria are here to save us! He's been pouring in looking for somewhere safe. Mm. We don't have unicorn magic to protect us. Oh, We're in the sky Sugar Bell is not in a good place right now Vegas because of this. Cowardly? They're blocking clouds down. Oh, they didn't want any grounded ponies up in their business. Listen up, buddy. Oh. Don't. That's exactly what Chrysalis and the others want more fighting. We know oh, one Briar Mata there. We're here to help. Are oh, you better fix this? <laughs> Shin. Filthy Rage, okay. Twilight's probably as worried as every pony else and trying to find somewhere safe. That's why I was sure she'd be waiting for us in Ponyville. Where else could she be? I know where Twilight is. Oh, thanks a lot. Crystal Empire? Nope, she's not there either. She's upstairs. It's not. Or is she? Oh. You're here? Okay. I was so worried. Where are the princesses? They put up a crazy fight so we could escape and find you. Mission accomplished. Now let's save the princess. Yeah, not so simple. <laughs> I made a terrible mistake. When did she make that? People did. From the second I got away, I've been searching every book, scroll, and spell for a way to rescue you and stop Chrysalis, T Rex, and Cozy, but I haven't found anything. I failed. Oh, You'll come stop up with it. We can't save Equestria without. Don't crumble you. now. You all escaped without my help. You didn't need me then. So oh, why would come any on. pony need me now? We know things look bad, but we've been in tough spots before and we all look around. Nothing we've ever done has mattered. Sombra, return to destroy the Tree of Harmony. Chrysalis, T Rex, Cozy Glow, returned and more powerful than ever. The School of Friendship, shut down. Every pony in Equestria is so blinded by fear they can't remember what friendship is. Nothing we do So go show them. Difference. But we're still free and together, and it's not like things could get any worse. Never say that! Don't ever... Have you learned nothing? <gasps> Haven't we learned never to say that by now? Do we just... Well, no, but yes, I mean... <laughs> it's the same, it's heartwarming all over again. That's just a heartwarming Eve story. No. Creatures made of wind that spread cold and misery across the land to punish ponies. Seems pretty real to me. Oh. Let the Pegasi deal with this. There's nothing 
we can do except hide. Oh, sandbar. That's enchanted wind. We can't control it. And we can't mm -hmm. rely on those snooty unicorns for any help. Build up the cloud bank. We'll try to block it. Oh, Scootaloo's up there. Down below. They're on their own. Oh. They are. Split up the CMCs, that's not right. Chance and Ace. We need to protect ourselves. Uh, Moon it's Dancer all we can do. and um yeah. same Starlight and Sunburst parents. I'm drawing a blank right now. I've already done enough. You want the truth, Twilight? Bad things happen. No matter what you do, there's never gonna be a time when everything's perfect. But that don't mean you quit trying. What if I make things worse? Ever since Celestia told me I was taking over, I've been gaining confidence. Then I find out it's all a lie. A quester has been following no. her around us, and I didn't even notice. It's... What kind of princess does that make me? I'm scared. Twilight, you're putting way too much on yourself. No single pony can handle all that alone. Than any pony. But thanks to all of you, I've learned I'm always less scared when I'm with my friends. If we're facing impossible odds, we're facing them together. It's what we always do, darling. But we're on our own, and we have no idea what um, to do. You've been here before. Yeah, true. Pretty much in the movie. Something terrible is about to happen. We don't have the elements of harmony anymore. So? Can you all be so calm and you learned you didn't need them. Because even if you don't believe you can do this, we do. We believe in you. In us. The truth is, all our lives wouldn't be the same if we hadn't met. We're better off because of our friendship with you. So when you say you haven't made a difference, that's just not true. You've made a big difference to us. Thank you. Sometimes even the princess of friendship needs a reminder that there's just more like than the magic show has than rainbow lasers. Mixed. Although, that part is pretty cool. <laughs> so just like the show has made such an impact on us. That sounds like the pony I used to full sit for. Count us in. No, you need to stay here and protect Glory Heart. If we don't, mm. if things don't work out, she's Equestria's last hope. Okay. Oh. Three of our worst villains have taken over, powered up by ancient magic. Every pony in Equestria is so scared and divided that the Windigos are circling, and it's up to us to fix it all. What are we gonna do, Twilight? Mm. The same thing we do every time, Pinky. <laughs> Try to save the world. Yes. Yes. Pinky in the print. Thank you. Thank you for that! Down the rest of the Windigos? <laughs> I'm not hunting anyone down in this weather. Can't we magically get rid of them in the I don't care if it's not on my list. I don't think so. <laughs> this could work out quite well for me. You mean us? The harsh weather is the final blow to break the pony's spirits. Once Equestria is a frozen wasteland, we'll use our magic to destroy those windy beasts. Ponies will be so grateful they'll do whatever I want. The Windigos are ancient magic. It would be unwise. Still wondering if we're gonna get time travel. Probably not, but best we deal with them now. That line about Flurry Heart had me wondering. Should deal with Twilight and her friends before anything else. I thought it was too cold for you to hunt any pony down. Our... We don't need to. They're right there. Uh oh. You think they know we're here? Yep. That they do. Oh, that tone of. I'd say they have an idea. You better have a darn good plan here. That bell has Discord Celestia and Luna's magic inside. If they use it against us, Discord's magic is so chaotic, he's the only one who can use it. You just can't accept that you were beaten before you even realized there was a fight, can you? You can't beat us if we never give up. As long as I have my friends by my side, I'll put my faith in friends. Uh, can we get on with this, please? <sighs> you know, I'm thinking back to what Sandbar saw. I think... Princesses their magic pack. Rainbow Dash, Pinky. I think Yo, Sandbar is going to round up his the students and the troops from other nations no. and come in at the last minute. They're going to get the bell. Did what? Come out, come out, wherever you are. There. <laughs> Whoa. Oh boy. Oh, he's an earthbender. <laughs> Where's Flum Flam when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Jerry 
damage, yes! Oh, that was a hate crime. <laughs> Yes! Not annoying! <laughs> Distracting! Uh oh! Oh, so close! Whoa! <gasps> that was a cool combo! Rarity using her magic, I love that! Oh! Um not the fast is, but she's fast. Please don't hurt him. Oh. Don't worry about me. Just say no. <sighs> Turns out that the magic of friendship is your biggest weakness. Mm. Into your We're not done yet. Story. No matter what, we face it together. Wait for it. Can I open my eyes? You sure can. Mm. Yes! Way to go, Twilight! It's not her! It's not me! It's... Students, they united everyone! How are you all here? That's kinda our fault. You know those long lectures about friendship you gave at school? <laughs> they put their percent here! We can defeat the Wendigos together! You really think if we all sing a couple songs, everything will be fine? It's not just singing that save the founders of Equestria! I might as well just keep holding this. <laughs> Yeah. Is divided. Villains and creatures like the Wendigos use that division against us. Yaks strong, ponies strong, but yaks and ponies stronger together. Yaks must be loyal to pony friends. I know helping other creatures by being kind and generous sounds lame, but I've seen how powerful it can be. Playing together, yes. singing together, even laughing the Griffins. together. That's what real heroes look like. Were we really happy? I'm surprised that was that easy to sell. Be honest. It's the ponies that showed us. Stop! No. They taught us how powerful no. the magic of friendship truly is. We can't let them stand alone. We're their friends. Is Capper? Is Capper here somewhere? And the parrots? Aww. About that. It's just like so close. We opened that school. The more creatures you know about. Well, we saw Capper in that one other one, but yeah. We told you you had it all figured out. Oh. Ow. Yeah, they're... <laughs> it's like, there's still a war going on here! <laughs> Enough! Because of you, I almost lost my way. But every creature here has reminded me of the true power of friendship. There will always be darkness in the world, but there will also always be those who find the light. The pillars knew this. That's why they created the elements of harmony. <laughs> it's like, aw, <"Aw."> yay! <laughs> the elements showed me and my friends how strong our friendship could be. Together we work to bring harmony to Equestria. But there will always be more to do. Which is why we teach others about the magic of friendship. Others who will continue our mission after we are gone. That's now us. I truly That's understand. Us. That is the us! we were just symbols. The real magic has always been right here. And the more who understand how powerful friendship <laughs> is, the stronger we will all be. Together. <laughs> One last time. Oh yes. One last time. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> yes. Oh.
You so now what? Friendship will save you. We will always return. Nothing will ever stop <laughs> Chocolate rain! Yes! Don't look at me. What? Oh no! 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 She also like. Oh no! Fallout Equestria. That's how it happened. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Later, I hear some chaos in my zoo. <laughs> there isn't a punishment worthy of all you've done. Oh. Oh, that does seem fitting. Hmm? May I help? Please. What are we doing? What are... Oh, ri really? That's how we're gonna end it? Together forever. <sighs> I can't think of anything that they would want less. Oh. <laughs> when I sent you to Podyville, I had high hopes. When you became Princess of Friendship, I knew I made the right choice. But nothing could prepare me for how proud I am right now. <sighs> Equestria is definitely in the right hooves. You are ready. You know what? I think I am. Thank goodness. A first question, Your Highness. What do we do with all these creatures? We're gonna need a lot more chairs for the coronation. <laughs> Actually, as ruler of Equestria, I'd like to postpone the coronation for a while. At least until the castle's rebuilt. Besides, just there's use your castle. Need to do first. Eh? Hmm, host apocalyptic donuts. Interesting choice. <laughs> There's gonna be plenty of time for all the challenges and struggles and adventures to come. For now, best night ever. Spend a quiet moment. Best night ever. Call back. Best friends I've ever had. Well, <laughs> mostly quiet. Wing fingers. Of an even more awesome era. All I know is whatever comes next is going to be perfect. How do you know that? With you guys by my side, how could it not? That was epic. I, I, I really didn't know how they were going to end the thing with the villains. I guess that without reforming them, that's about as good of a solution as you can come up with. I'll, I'll say that. I, and I know a lot of fans did not want them to get reformed. I totally get that. I respect that. And I at least partially agree with that. But... Just me personally, I wanted to see them reformed, or at least Cozy Glow. I just, I really can't understand why. I just, I wanted to. So, but, um, man, I really thought that we were going to get something, you know, backstory-wise, because throwing out the name of T-Rex's father, you know, dad's like, oh, now I'm starting to get a little understanding, like, you know, he's got daddy issues, so it sort of makes sense, but we never got any backstory in Cozy Glow and Chrysalis. Uh. Well, fanfic world, you know, don't have to answer all the questions, but I should not get too far ahead of myself because there is one episode left, and you're just going to have to wait and watch it in the next reaction. I actually did watch all three of these finale episodes back to back. But I realized later it was going to make for way too long of a video, so I'm cutting it right here. I'm going to go to commentary for this two-part uh, season finale, and then come back to you one more time with the final episode, the series finale. So, 
uh, for right now, stay tuned for my commentary. Well, this truly was one of Equestria's darkest hours. Magic stolen, many allies defeated, disharmony amongst the pony tribes, the Wendigos returning, and Twilight once again at her wit's end. I knew this was going to be a big deal, and I honestly predicted a lot of what actually happened, at least at a high level, but to see it all actually play out was still mind-blowing. And of course, there, there were a number of surprises in here, and one thing I absolutely did not see coming was the realization that Discord was actually playing Grogar the entire time. And that's actually the first thing I'd like to examine, so let's start there. As we've seen over the course of several seasons, starting with Season 4, Discord has been, in his own unique way, uh, assisting Twilight's princess training. I've mentioned before that I've started to question whether Discord actually truly joined T-Rex back in the Season 4 finale, or if that was just part of his entire plan all along. Prior to that, he had been pointing out select passages in the Friendship Journal that pertain to the lessons that they learned that involved special items that became the keys to the chest that gave them their rainbow powers, and ultimately became Twilight's castle in Ponyville. Regardless of the fact that he was a long way from what I would consider fully reformed, it still seemed odd to me that he would so easily switch back to his old ways, you know, betraying Fluttershy and everyone, given, especially given how helpful he was being in guiding Twilight and friends at that point with the journal. Obviously, the writers back then had no idea how this grand finale would play out, so at, at that level, it wasn't really planned that way. But in terms of in-universe, I still can't help but think that that was actually another case where Discord was just using T-Rex to help teach Twilight and friends a lesson, and it kind of backfired on him, just as it did here. Of course, that would beg the question of why did he go down the same road again now? Uh, because you'd think he would have learned his lesson from back then. <laughs> But remember, this is Discord we're talking about here, not exactly the most forward-thinking individual when it comes to considering the potential consequences of his actions. Also, this time he planned the whole thing, right from the start, uh, using the, the Grogar facade to keep tabs on and manipulate all the villains. And he clearly thought he had everything well under control, up until the point where they used the bell to steal his magic. Anyway. As I was saying, he's been slowly nudging Twilight in the right direction multiple different times in different ways over the course of the seasons, um, working in his own way to prepare her for the ultimate leadership role, to fully realize her potential. That doesn't mean he's any kind of saint, because he isn't, and he's had to learn quite a few lessons of his, of his own along the way, often the hard way. Still though, he claimed multiple times here that he had the best of intentions, which I fully believe and I give him credit for seeing Twilight's potential and trying his best to see her finally realize that potential. But that does not at all excuse what he did. Unlike in Season 4, where I feel like that was more of just him taking advantage of the situation on a whim, this time he was completely and fully responsible for what transpired. Sombra was gone, banished to the ether, and Discord revived him. Cozy Glow and Tyrek were safely locked away in Tartarus, and he let them out. Chrysalis was slowly going crazy by herself out in the wilderness with no viable plan or allies, and he gave her the allies that she, that she needed that allowed her to, to successfully mount yet another offensive against Equestria. None of them were a realistic threat as things were, not until Discord brought them all together. He put the safety of all of Equestria in jeopardy, all just to try and accelerate Twilight's growth in the, the way that he alone thought was best for her. Regardless of his intentions, that was a terrible move, and all of Equestria nearly paid a very heavy price for his mistake. And what's even worse is, after his magic was taken, he kind of acted like a total coward. You know, first he was hiding behind the throne when Cozy Glow showed up in, in the throne room in Kanoa Castle there, and then once uh, T-Rex and Chrysalis busted in the wall, he ran around and hid behind the main six, just cowering in fear. Yeah, I honestly thought he was better than that, since, especially since this isn't the first time that we've seen him robbed of his chaos magic, like at the end of Season 6, when he stepped up to help save Equestria from the Changelings, despite being unable to use his magic in the Changeling Hive. And just to give, confer, uh, to give fair consideration, though, this time he was properly scared, because he not only was he without his magic, but he knew just how powerful those three really were, 
and he also knew that he was completely to blame. So in that clutch moment, he was basically trying to hide from his own mistakes. And I can empathize with that because we all try to hide from the consequences of our, of our mistakes at some point or another. Also, I did very much appreciate his heartfelt apology when they were all trapped in, in the cave, and I give him a lot of credit for finally finding the courage to step up and find a way to create an opportunity for the ponies to escape. He was, of course, aided in that by Starlight, who I give major props to as one of the best supporting characters in this finale, uh, for her guts and clever use of magic while fighting the villains. Um, but anyway, that, you know, that's not to say that that completely made up for what Discord did, because it certainly didn't, and he still deserves to pay some kind of penalty for his actions. But he overcame his fears to come to the aid of his friends, which was a great example of loyalty. So there's definitely hope for him yet. Oh, and a brief side note, uh, we learned some interesting things about Discord's chaos magic in these episodes, and that gives me some new theories about him and his antics. Uh, I'm not going to go into a significant detail here, but I just wanted to note his magic is literally pure chaos, meaning it's extremely unpredictable and barely controllable. As they noted, Discord himself is the only being that knows how to control that kind of magic. And I'm starting to think that maybe even he himself doesn't have complete control over it. Perhaps that's why he's always conjuring all manner of crazy items and whatnot, because he can't always just perform spells in an ordinary, straightforward manner like unicorns can. Uh, or perhaps I'm reading just way too much into this, you know, which is entirely possible. I just think it's interesting to consider the possibility that Discord's magic, or rather his own abilities as a whole, have some limitations which could explain some of his odd behavior beyond just his own warped personality. No, just some food for that there. Anyway, at the end of the day, despite all of his plans backfiring in spectacular fashion, his actions did ultimately succeed in Twilight realizing her potential, though with a bit of help from everyone else. That said, I do have some mixed feelings about Twilight's response to the events that played out here. On one hand, it felt a bit like she reverted to her old self again, succumbing to the pressure and uh, getting into a defeatist mentality, a habit that I thought she had broken out of. On the other hand, there these were pretty extraordinary circumstances, as they've never had to face more than a single villain together before, and now they had three super-powered ones on their hooves. Well, I, you know, I guess technically there were multiple villains in the movie, and I did actually note a number of similarities between the movie and this finale. Uh, scenario, both in terms of the overall execution of the villain's plan and in Twilight and how Twilight responded to that. But in some ways, this still felt a bit worse, in part because of how the villains had even gone so far as to upset the harmony amongst all the pony tribes, leaving Twilight feeling like her entire life's work was just all for nothing, and probably wondering if there was even any point in trying to fight back anymore. Considering all of that, it's kind of hard to fault Twilight for feeling in the way that she did here. And she was honestly still trying on her own to find a, a solution when her friends found her. So, you know, it's not like she had completely given up hope or reverted back to desperate measures such that really crossed the line like in the movie. So there is that. But no, that, that this is not, uh, for what was happening to Twilight here, this is not unlike what can happen in um, real life sometimes, where just when you think when you have it all together and are finally making some real progress in your life, you know, making some big advancements, something unexpected comes flying out of left field that upsets all your plans and makes you feel like everything you've worked for just evaporated. It's really hard to not feel devastated when something like that happens and to not start questioning all of your life choices while slowly sinking into a pit of despair. When you get into that state of mind, it's also easy to overlook some very important things, like just how much you've grown due to the challenges that you faced and had to overcome to get to where you are now, and the people that you have had an impact on along the way. While stressed out over trying to find a solution to this problem, Twilight lost sight of just how much she herself has grown, and how much she, how, how much she has positively influenced so many others over the years through her work as the Princess of Friendship. Regardless of the fact that Discord's lessons were staged, and let's be honest here, so were a lot of Celestia's lessons for Twilight, <laughs> she still learned important things from those trials, and she was able to then share the wisdom that she had gained with others, both uh, by her words and her actions. 
She believed so strongly in the positive benefits of friendship that she stood firm in establishing the school of friendship, which reach, reached across borders to other creature nations, spreading the message of friendship to all. And the students not only made Equestria's harshest critic of that school pull a complete 180, nam namely Chancellor Nese, but they also succeeded in not only overcoming the discontent the, the villains that spread amongst the pony tribes, but also uniting all the creature nations in harmony against their common enemies. In a nutshell, none of those trials she faced were truly a lie because she learned and grew from them, and she has had a far more positive effect on this world around her than she could have ever possibly imagined because of all the lives that she has influenced through her efforts. Honestly though, it can be really hard, if not impossible, to see the ripple effects of such actions. Twilight had to have known that the School of Friendship had a very positive impact on a lot of creatures, but in all honesty, outside of the learning moments that she had personally witnessed herself or read about in reports from others, she only really had you know, basic things like test scores and, and whatnot as a measure of how much her work was impacting the lives of the students. And then when the school got closed down and she heard about all the tribes being divided again and all that, I suppose she thought for a bit that all her efforts really were wasted because she likely thought that it shouldn't have been so easy for that to happen if she really had made such a big impact. The thing is, it's easy to see small benefits during times of relative peace, but in times of great hardship, that's when people's true colors are revealed and we see whether they were behaving a certain way simply out of convenience or because of their convictions and their beliefs. Our world, is, our world is made up of lots of different kinds of people, and it's very difficult to get along with one another, as we all know all too well. When hardships come, it's all too easy to focus on our differences and allow those to divide us and separate us and lose sight of what's really important. What Twilight didn't expect is that her work with the school had had such a profound impact on the students that had been studying there, and not just the young six either, but all of them, so much so that they were able to unite everyone against their common enemy. And you know, Cozy Glow was right about one thing. Friendship is power, just not the kind of power that she wanted it to be. Friendship, uh, friends united together is one of the most powerful forces in the world, but it only works by sharing your own power with others, not taking it for yourself. In a classic case of the student becoming a teacher, the students reminded Twilight just how powerful the magic of friendship really is and restored her confidence and her faith. She, no she finally realized what we've known for quite some time, which is uh, that the elements of harmony were never the great power that they were thought to be. Rather, they were just symbols for what was inside of them all along. And Twilight was also very right ab about one thing. No matter how much you've accomplished, there is always more darkness in this world trying to tear you down, so there will always be more work to do. That can make it seem like it's an exercise in futility, but if we help make the world a better place for even a few people, then it's worth the effort. And the more of us there are working together in harmony, the stronger and more successful we will be. That's why it's important that we take the lessons of this show to heart. Just like how Twilight's lessons lived on in the students beyond the closing of the school, we must take what we have learned, apply it to our own lives, and continue to live out these principles and share them with others, especially now that the show has ended. This is not easy to do, especially during difficult times, and we often need reminders ourselves, which is why it's so great that we have nine seasons of the show to rewatch and reflect on for years to come. Ultimately, we must stand with our friends against the forces of darkness that seek to tear us apart. And remember, our light shines brightest in our darkest hour. Now, that actually reminded me a bit of the Green Lantern Corps from the DC Universe, or more specifically, the oath that the Green Lanterns must recite to power up their rings. And so I kind of borrowed from that a little bit and made, made up an oath for us. On darkest days, through blackest night, united as one, we share our light. Let those who seek to always fight beware our power, the Friendship Knights. That is us, my friends. We are the Friendship Knights, and it is our duty to live out the lessons we have learned here to stop all the fighting and spread 
the ma magic of friendship to the masses. Just to clarify though, while we may be knights, our weapons are not hatred or ridicule or anything that would bring harm to others, nothing negative. No, our weapons are honesty, loyalty, kindness, generosity, and laughter. We should not seek to destroy our enemies, but rather do our best to show them love and kindness, and treat them, treat them the same way that we wish to be treated ourselves. If we've learned anything at all from this show, we should know at least that much. Now, speaking of enemies, uh, enemies, let's take a look at the punishment for the villains. This is a bit of a controversial subject, as I understand. You know, I have to say, I honestly have some mixed feelings as well about how this turned out. I fully understand and respect the writer's desire to not reform every single villain in the world, but obviously that means that some form of punishment was necessary for the evil deeds of those three. Each one of them has tried multiple times to conquer Equestria in some way or another for their own evil purposes, and this time around there didn't appear to be any shred of remorse or even any kind of warped moral justification, rather they were just all out for revenge. They did not hold anything back at all, doing everything within their power to try and take down Twilight and all her friends, even to the point of some drastic things like Chrysalis appearing to threaten to break Spike's wings. That's getting pretty extreme in my opinion, <laughs> at least for this show. You know, and they even would have used Discord's chaos magic if not for their inability to properly wield it. Now, I know this show is all about second chances, but they've each had multiple chances to turn themselves around, and actually almost did so back in Frenemies when they were working together to retrieve the bell, before ultimately rejecting the idea and digging in their heels even harder on staying evil. And actually, you could argue they were still given yet one more chance right here in the finale, because the rainbow attack only took away their extra magic power, thus de-escalating the situation prior to just sealing them away or something like that and yet they persisted to make threats vowing to continue to come back again and again until they succeeded in finally conquering Equestria. And to be fair, Chrysalis was the only one who was actually verbally making those threats, but t and Cozy Glow weren't disagreeing with her, and they also had determined looks on, her, on their faces while she was talking, as if they were in full agreement. So, yeah, they basically blew the, the one last chance that they had, and something had to be done. Now, being locked up in Tartarus obviously wasn't going to cut it because apparently, despite their best efforts, even its security wasn't enough to prevent outside tampering from allowing t and Cozy Glow to escape. Granted, I don't think Discord's going to do that again, but you never know when somebody else might come along and do something similar. Um, and really, as far as what the kid-friendly limitations of the show will allow, sealing them away in stone was about the best option actually available. Of course, one could argue that point quite a bit, given what happened with Som Sombra back in the Season 9 premiere, not to mention the Storm King, but I'm not about to go down that rabbit hole right now. And I think it's pretty safe to say that most of us never wanted to see the villains actually die. Uh, it was also really kind of a nifty full circle moment, because uh, you know this is what Celestia and Luna did with Discord over a millennium ago. As far as we know, that was their first major villain encounter as princesses of Equestria, at least after the pillars disappeared into the void. Uh, with the Pony of Shadows. And now their final act as princesses was to once again seal away a great evil that threatened the safety of all of Equestria. It was also clearly a very emotional moment for them, as on the eve of their retirement, they just about bore witness to the complete and total destruction of the nation that they had built and cared for for so long. Uh, they were obviously furious beyond words, and they had every right to be, as the actions of all three of those villains were completely inexcusable. I do know that some fans have interpreted that scene as, you know, showing that the princesses were kind of gloating about the, this punishment, like they were somehow taking pleasure in it, but I really don't see that myself. Yes, they did have a smile on their faces when they heard what Discord was proposing as a, as a punishment, but I don't interpret that as gloating, more like they were happy that they found an appropriate solution. If anything, with as furious as they were, I think Discord may have actually talked them down from doing something even more drastic. For all we know, they could have been banished to the moon for a thousand years, like Luna was, or something even worse. The only real issue I had with that scene is the fact that Discord himself took part in serving the punishment, and he did have a rather smug look on his face while he was doing it, unlike Celestia and Luna. 
given that Discord was the one who was largely responsible for causing this whole mess to begin with. It seems a bit unfair that he was involved with that decision, and even more unfair that he seemed to once again get away without any major consequences for his actions. Uh, I can only hope that at some point after everything settled down, that he at least got sentenced to community service or something by Twilight, something to make up for his mistakes here. And I mean, if, if nothing else, I think he himself got a pretty cold dose of reality about how badly he'd screwed up and how badly he had potentially hurt his friends as a result. So I'm pretty sure he will never make any mistake like that ever again. <laughs> um, but as as for the specific act of you know encasing them in stone, again, I know some feel that it was inappropriate in one way or another. The one thing I like about it is that it effectively prevents them from further scheming or hurting anyone while at the same time remaining under constant watchful eyes and also allowing for the possibility of future reformation of the villains, just as it did for Discord. Now, this is not a permanent thing. We know this spell can be reversed. And uh, you know, one of the arguments against this is specific to the fact that uh, beings sealed away in this manner are presumably still conscious, seeing as how Discord claimed that he was able to hear what ponies around him were saying while being encased in stone. Uh, that's what he's saying way back in Season 2 after he finally got free. Um, and, you know, if that's the case, that seems like a, a bit harsh of, of a punishment, especially for somebody like Cozy Glow, who doesn't necessarily live for a really long time. Uh, but first of all, I'd like to point out that we don't know everything about Cozy Glow. She appears to be just a little kid, but quite honestly, that seems to be highly questionable given just how vicious and cunning that she's turned out to actually be. Is she really just a young foal, or is there something more to her story? Is she really an adult whose growth was stunted somehow? Is she an adult who was uh, somehow subjected to some kind of age-reversing spell, which could possibly be part of why she was so determined to rid Equestria of all magic, out of, out of revenge or whatever? You know, Or is she some other kind of non-pony being that has taken the form of a young pony and maybe forgotten that she isn't actually a pony or something? I mean, there's lots of theories out there, you know, and there just ultimately are so many unanswered questions here um, because we never got any real backstory or motive for her actions at any point. And there's also, in my opinion, you know, putting all that aside, there's also a question about whether they will actually remain conscious or not because this spell is arguably a bit different than the one used on Discord, specifically because that one was performed using the element of Harmony Gems which the princesses no longer wield. So it's possible they used a similar but slightly different stone encasement spell, one that doesn't subject the affected beings to the torture of remaining conscious. So, all things considered, I don't really have a problem with this form of punishment. You know, I feel that the severity of the crimes justified such extreme measures, and again, the possibility of future parole is an important factor here. And the, the irony of these three being stuck together like that is not lost on me, given that it was quite clear that they were only tolerating each other in order to get what they wanted and couldn't stand the thought of actually staying together in the long run. You know, I still do wish that these villains be given more chances to reform down the road, especially Cozy Glow. And in fact, I've already seen some fan art pieces floating around that are showing a grown-up flurry heart you know, engaged in battle with Cozy Glow, or, you know, even becoming friends with her after being the one to have successfully reformed her. I personally love that idea, especially after the comment Twilight made about Flurry Heart being the future of Equestria. And since the show is over, unless the Season 10 comics actually do something different, I will gladly accept that idea as canon. <laughs> I mean, darn it, I, you know, Flurry Heart never got any really good stories, so that would be a really cool story arc for her to, to actually play out. <laughs> So yeah, overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with the inning that the villains got, with the exception of one little pesky issue, namely the lack of backstories. You know, we have a tiny bit of backstory for T-Rex, but next to nothing for Chrysalis, and nothing at all for Cozy Glow, who is by far the most intriguing one of the three. You know, without backstory to establish motive, it's difficult to properly interpret all of their actions, and I can't help but feel like perhaps there was another way to resolve these issues before things ever escalated to the point that they did in this finale. Interestingly, the, uh, the lesson presented just a few episodes ago in Daring Doubt comes to mind here, 
Everyone deserves a chance for their story to be heard so that their actions can be put into the proper context and judged accordingly. I do not recall hearing anyone ever pressing Cozy Glow to reveal the motive for her actions before tossing her into a cage in Tartarus. Uh, and in, in lieu of that, I thought perhaps that could have come later, like during therapy sessions or something where they tried to understand and reason with her and consider the possibility of future parole. Instead, it seems like they just tossed her in there and forgot about her because nobody besides Discord even realized that she and Tyrik had escaped until here in the finale, which was quite a long time after it had actually happened. I mean, was nobody even bringing them food and water down there? Were those supplies just being delivered by magic with nobody actually checking up on the inmates from time to time? Uh, you know, again, many un unanswered questions, and like I said, the, I understand the reasoning for keeping them as villains to the, bitter, uh, to the bitter end. I just wish we could have had some sort of understanding of why they were so bad in the first place, especially Cozy Glow, as it would have helped to more fully establish them as legitimate villains. Perhaps this is something that will be covered in the Season 10 comic series, and if not, well, like I said, there's always fanfics. But anyway, what's done is done, and it would seem that Equestria is about to enter yet another golden age of peace and harmony, and this time it looks like it's going to be even better than before, because not only has the, the, has the harmony amongst the Pony tribes been restored, but now all the other creature nations have likely also come to realize how much stronger they all are when working together. That's not to say there won't be more evil that we'll need to deal with down the road. The world will always have darkness and more villains, and as we well know, there are many lands and creatures beyond the borders of Equestria that have yet to be reached. But as long as all the creatures can remember that they are stronger together, they should be capable of dealing with whatever trials come their way. There is now new hope in this world, the likes of which has most likely never been seen before. And if there is any question in the minds of any Equestrians about whether or not Twilight is qualified to take Celestia and Luna's place, I think those fears have now been firmly put to rest. As we saw in the final battle, all of Equestria was present, even ponies who remained disagreeable, such as Flim and Flam and Spoiled Rich. And all of the befriended creature nations came to help as well, even stubborn ones like the dragons and griffins, and even the reclusive Kieran. The friendship lessons that the main six have been teaching to all have resonated with everyone in some way or another, to the point where they were all able to look past their differences and work together when it mattered the most. And that would have, wouldn't have happened if they didn't recognize Twilight as the true authority figure for the ideals that they were now all fighting to save. And also, unlike Celestia and Luna, we've personally witnessed Twilight's entire journey from just a nerdy book horse to become, becoming a true leader and mentor, complete with all the mistakes that she's made and all the speed bumps she's endured along the way. You could argue that she's been vetted far more thoroughly than Celestia and Luna ever were back when the Nation of Equestria was first formed. We know that she's not perfect, we know that she makes mistakes, and will likely continue to do so at times, just as Celestia and Luna themselves sometimes made mistakes. But honestly, this is a good thing, because nobody is perfect, and nobody should believe that they're perfect, or, ha or that they have to try to be perfect all the time. I think Twilight is at a point where she's matured enough to handle the responsibility, while also having enough knowledge of her own limitations and mistakes to remain humble and staying humble is something a good leader must do. Most importantly, her belief and faith in the magic of friendship is stronger than it has ever been, and perhaps even stronger than any pony in the entire history of Equestria. So yes, I believe the future of Equestria is in good hooves, and is brighter than it's ever been. So, that's all I've got for these episodes. There's still one episode left, The Last Problem, the final epilogue that gives us a brief look at what's in store for the future of Equestria. Can't wait to talk to you guys about that one, so stay tuned for my next reaction. Later!